Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 19 of Gilmore Girls Season 4. Very close to the end of the season now, we have three after this. So uh, like I say, I've, got, I've had my predictions, we've got them in the book ready to go so we'll see if any of them come to fruition. But last episode we had Richard betraying Jason, uh, backstabbing him. Um, someone pointed out on Patreon that maybe Richard considers that Jason was the one who backstabbed him first because he's dating Lorelai behind his back. I can see that. I can see that being Richard's logic. If that is the case, then my response would be, what a baby. Uh, grow up. <laughs> Richard's never going to grow up. He's too far gone for that. Uh, he's the most baby man on this entire show. Jackson exists. If we got rid of Jackson, it would be Richard. So... Uh, is anyone and J that's including Jess, by the way. Jess, I let it slide because he was still like a teenager. But my God, Richard, I don't know what is going on. Uh, so episode 19, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like because it does help the video and it does help the channel. And Patreon is linked down below. If you do want to join us over on there, we'll be quite far into season five by the time this one is on YouTube. But for now, let's do this. Hey. Oh, I left a tip this time. And I didn't put it under the water glass because I know you hate that. And I made sure it didn't touch the syrup because that makes it sticky. And I didn't leave the last dollar in pennies just to get rid of them. I know. So why are you running down the street yelling at me? <laughs> yelling at <laughs> Come on, Lorla. I was talking. Oh, what'd you say? Hey. Oh, hey. You are a lot of work. <laughs> she really is, but I've grown accustomed to it. Yep, I'm getting my divorce. What? Yeah. You're getting a, a mail order divorce? These are the papers we had drawn up before. This story needs to drop now. This is so dragged out. This Nicole Luke thing. In fact, we haven't even really seen Nicole. She's been in like two episodes. But it's been like Luke's entire season has been about Nicole. It's over with. It's not a big deal. I just need to sign a piece of paper. You're ending a marriage. I'm signing a paper. That says you're ending a marriage. Please let me do that. I actually think this is one of the weakest storylines Gilmore's done. I've said it. It's not done anything for Luke's character, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Be rushed. You know, for someone who's never actually been through a divorce, you sure know a lot about it. You should take a few minutes to think. Well, her and Christopher not married, yeah. Yes, I Fine, please. I'm begging you. Let me get divorced. <laughs> All right, then. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you needed stamps. I can get them later. What are you doing? I just thought I'd give you some privacy. <laughs> I'm not taking a shower. I'm signing a paper. I can come back later. Will you please get in there and- Lola, please. <laughs> Work. That's why you should be- <laughs> Welcome to Mailbox. <laughs> How may I help you? Uh, I love that they don't question it ever. They just accept that Cook's here. What can I do for you today? I can wait till he's done. She needs stamps. I can wait Just get done. your stamps. But, Just get your stamps. I, oh my but, god, the work. <laughs> You're gonna be married to her one day, so look forward to that. The breakfast food series just came out last week. <gasps> look at the dancing toast. Aren't they a kick? And here is our cartoon series. <laughs> hey, do you have any Lucille balls left? Yes, I have some balls. <laughs> okay. Oh, the question it on Luke's face. Bewitched? I love Bewitched. Me too. Dr. Bombay was a big influence on me. Oh my god, Serena? I wanted to be Serena. Is Bewitched like older than Charmed? Did you practice the twitch? Oh, who didn't practice the twitch? Tabitha was so lucky. <laughs> and hey, whatever happened to her little brother, Adam? I mean, they determined in episode 242 that it was a warlock and then- Trying to get divorced here. <laughs> Sorry. Remember when Andorra called up Durwood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great intro. <laughs> what happened to your thumb? It's from a thumbprint yesterday. I thought they had inkless pads now. Or I've been scrubbing my thumb for two days. I've tried soap, I've tried cleaning fluid. Have you tried fire? Now not only The fact that these two haven't even kissed yet is wild. I'm not gonna Sorry about your thumb. It's okay. They've had restraint. Hey, you know what might make you feel better? What? Handing me a cherry Danish. Well, it's certainly worth a try. Having Lorelai food. Will I just make... got my coffee. Follow the thumb. <laughs> Lorelai Gilmore. No, this is Lorelai Gilmore. Ooh, gaslight. So you have my phone. Yes, you left it in the kitchen. <laughs> Hello? Okay. So I'm officially taking the one hour I have off to go to the driving range to hit golf balls to try to improve my sucky game, thereby redeeming myself in your father's arms. That won't happen. Use of sucky and thereby in the same sentence. Hey, who's that? It's Jason. Tell him hi. Hey, Rory says hi. Tell her hi back. <laughs> he says hi back. Hi. This is a sickness. <laughs> Who are you talking to? My other two personalities. I'll bring this back. Wait, inside. wait, bite. 
Okay. A frightening picture of things to come. Mm. I figure if he doesn't call me back by four, I'll just go over there. Okay, I'm at the club. I'm gonna hang up now. Call me later. Me? No. No? Not you. Not me. Not oh my god. This is why this is a bad idea. So how's World War Three going? Oh, you know, the first boys off the boat were mowed down, but the next platoon is moving in. Which means? Jason's making the lawsuit go away. Mm, he, that's already gone, I think. Have you tried to talk to Grandma and Grandpa yet? No. That's my little Kofi Annan. Jason will fix it. Jason's not their daughter. Then he might have better luck. Why don't you just tell them that you guys were dating? Oh, come on, you know why. Yeah, this is why you probably should have told them at that point. Oh, what we're playing. Come on, That's I want to do a heavenly prayer. Hold on, I'm trying to do a Vulcan sting and I just let you do a half moon death combo. You didn't let me, I used my soul charge. Guys, the band meeting started 10 minutes ago. I'm sure that's Tekken dialogue on the GameCube as well. Oh my god. What's this? It's the names of a couple chicks I met last night. Put them on the list. I'm sorry, why am I suddenly in charge of the guest list? Because you're the most reliable. How very rock and roll. Yeah, uh, great. I've been working on the flyer for the gig. Why is there a sandwich on it? I used a flyer from the sandwich shop to get the dimensions right. It's just a prototype. The real one won't have the sandwich on it. Thank God. Sandwiches? Or we could put the band name where the sandwich is. Just the name, I think. Diagonal, across where the sandwich is. Everyone needs to stop saying sandwich. I'm getting hungry. Me too. Jesus, we mate. To eat? It was your turn to shop. Then no. Okay, well, great. Thank you, mate. I once ate cheesecake off the floor on a dare. Cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake would be good with a meatball explosion. I bet he didn't. I bet he just did that for fun. 100%. Great, what's happened here? Lane's looking after three guys. Well, two. The other one seems to have his own life going on. What the hell's this? What the hell's going on? Do you think she pays this person to, like, look after her? That is something she'd do. Hey, oh. Good to see you. Ah, uh, yes. Good to see you too, Jason. You know, I was going to call you about the change of those contracts I sent over. I'll call Richard about them tomorrow. Okay, or... Goodbye, Jason. Oh, I am. Wrecked. Yes, your American history is all over this inn. Oh, look a deal. I think I know that little guy. He was <laughs> for breakfast this morning. The bedrooms. Oh, what is that delicious scent? He is good at this. I bet our amazing chef, Suki St. James, is experimenting with her cookie recipe again. Why don't we sneak into the kitchen and see if we can convince her to give us a taste? Okay, follow me. Coming through. Coming through. He's too good at it. What well, happened? Did you make your cookies? Oh, it's okay. Call She's been fairly you useless okay. this season. God, I love having a kitchen again. You put the doctor on so I can talk to him. I will. Hey. What? I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel like it's just been Lorelai solo in this whole experience. With Michelle, actually. Michelle's been coming in clutch of it. And then I got a call from Richard's lawyer. What did he want? To tell me that Richard's going back into business with my father. Okay, what? that came out quick then. No, my father wouldn't do that. Well, he would. No, that company forced him out. And now they have welcomed him back in. Rich is such a weakling. Kind of joke. So I spent the last two hours calling every client I could, and they're all gone. Oh, that does suck. If he gets my dad to drop the lawsuit, he makes some extra cash, and he's sitting pretty. Makes perfect sense. But he was your partner. And now he's the guy running around town bad me. God. It's amazing. Your father has done a very thorough job. I've got nothing. Sucks to be Jason, I guess. Because he ain't going to be with Lorelai for much longer either, let's be honest. If he's with her for all season five as well. I just, I just need to defend. I'm okay. Thank you. That sucks. No, no, I, I can't. I'll call you later. Fab Richard hasn't even told Lorelai this as well. So, like, he knew she was going to find out. He just kept it hidden for an entire week. He's such a twat. A map of a country I'd once travelled with him. I hope these marks of age reflected wisdom. Yale Bookstore, who's made that sign? That's disgusting. And the kind of artificial goodwill that's squeezed from a man in the public eye, like oil from a rag. Mmm. <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you're very kind. <laughs> Bloody hell. Paris is going to kill someone. God, he was great. Wasn't he great? He was yeah, very yeah, impressive. He was a man he's reading so commanding. Book. And he's sexy as hell. Teacher, mine, thanks. Look at all these girls just flocking around him. They're so obvious. Oh, hello there. Hello, Professor Fleming. Hello there. All these girls, it's like one, or maybe two. I'm buying a copy for everyone I know. Well, then you should meet some more people. Everyone. The deadest book cover I've ever seen. 
It looks like a thesaurus. Please. She's going to hover. Pathetic. Hey, did I show you this? Pathetic. Look, to a wise, willful, wonderful woman. This is where Paris finds out he's just hooking up with like 50 people. He's going to be dedicated to someone else. Very nice. Well, what's he supposed to do? Write my name? Perish the thought. You know the situation. I do. And as long as I know that the wise, willful, wonderful woman is me, who cares who else knows? Oh, You're right. You I'm sorry. That. I'm just stressed about my paper. Oh, don't take your loser paper out on me. Okay. <laughs> Why would anyone bother trying to, like, open up to Paris? Well, this was a royal waste of my time. However, there were cookies. Oh, hold some so I don't look like a pig. <laughs> hold some for her. Everybody's here because Fleming's an intellectual dreamboat. Well, I'm not here for the dreamboat. God help us. God, that man. It's got a constant rotation going. A new girl every year. Yeah, Very bro. young, of course. Last year it was Dre Myers. God, was she beautiful. Any idea who he's seeing now? Actually, no. This year's girl's a bit of a mystery. I he's wonder. Up and he's trolling for another. <laughs> My money's on the redhead. Oh, God. Hi. Laura, I burn uh, it all down. I only live here, so maybe don't do that. Mr. Gilmore's in the living room. Oh, well, you're here. Laura, I didn't know you were coming over. What do you think she was going to do, you knob? Oh, I haven't been in the mood to talk. Well, we need to. I felt like reading. Why are you doing Is he going to act like the betrayed one? Oh, my God. If we are going to discuss this, let's go into my office. Jason's no. a partner, and he said he was going to take care of it. Laura, that, oh, I'm fine talking right here. Jason said he was taking care of everything and you, you didn't even give him a chance before you cut him out. This is business. No, you took right. everything from him, Dad. You're ruining his reputation. You're making it impossible for him to work. I did what I had to do. The real villain of Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Man. Did you not hear Floyd threaten to go after everything your mother and I have? Yes. Everything I've worked for. This house. Uh, there, there is that. <laughs> so you can do. Go home, Lorelai. No, Dad, please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I lied to you. Oh, about I'm gonna really snoop Jason, in. You can't destroy him like this. I'm hardly destroying him. Well. <laughs> with nothing. He's talking about moving, leaving. So what? So, I'm in a relationship with him. Then go with him. You know I can't go with him. What a stupid thing to say. Is he, is he got? Any brains? Oh my god. Stop it. I am tired of this, Lorelai. We. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. What happens to your boyfriend? And the worst part of it is that I never expected you to act any differently. <laughs> oh, God forbid she acts like she's looking out for the guy she's dating. Oh, no. Oh, not that. Oh, that's the worst when that happens. Emily, kill him. Tell him he's a pathetic little weasel. Going after Jason like this. I didn't know you were a fan of Jason's. I'm not. I'm just concerned. What are you concerned about, Emily? It took us a long time to get Lorelai back into this house. And she is dating Jason. Emily's such a boss. What are you saying? I worry that if you do this, she'll drive Lorelai away. That is exactly what will happen. Rory might go. She lied to us. To you. To me. I am no, very she well didn't. aware of what she did. The last time I checked, you didn't care for being lied to. Don't be condescending. Yes, Emily! Kill him out! Lorelai will do. Rory won't go away. I'm doing what I have to do. I hope everyone leaves. All the Gilmore girls leave his dead ass. His stanky ass. Get gone. Stinking up the place. Emily, though, coming in clutch again. Excuse me. A B minus. Oh, thank God. Not bad. Are you kidding? A B minus in Fleming's class is like an A anywhere else in St. America. Let's celebrate. Okay. <laughs> an A. Oh, there you go. All right, a B minus. <laughs> wow, right. College is loud. Yes, it's part of our training. It's right up there with the bad food, the sleep deprivation, how to hold your own hair while throwing up. <laughs> what does the show say? Queen? Something... Queen Plastic Club? Unless you're not going to Friday night dinner. <sighs> you're not going to Friday night dinner. Rory, why? Things have gotten worse. How could they be worse? Oh, Athletic Club, okay, never mind. It's going after Jason and... It it's complicated, but it's really bad. And I went over there to try to talk to him about it, and he was horrible. He said awful things to me. Like what? Like things. It doesn't matter. Crazy, <laughs> uh. but maybe once he calmed down, he was sorry. He is not sorry. You could be wrong. Maybe if we go over there and give him a chance to make it right. Richard gives me the impression that he's one of those that just never says sorry for anything. They're the best, those kinds of people. It's the only time that I get to see you, and 
I like having it there. It's really important to me. Rory, come on. I'm serious. Please, just give him a chance to make it up to you. Please. I'll be there. I'll be your buffer. Go for Emily. They can focus on me. You can focus on me. What about when he throws his glass of water in my face? Then I will get very wet. I'm holding you to that. This is going to be the worst dinner. I need a turkey burger, fries well done, and I'm still waiting for that grilled cheese and tomato. Patience is a virtue. Light a candle and tell it to yeah, the not, I want my grilled cheese Not when you want food. Pronto. Nope. If I order food and it takes three hours, patience is not a virtue. I'm saying that's just a flyer for our band. We're playing Friday at 8.30. So there's no sandwiches? No. Then why would I go? To hear some great music. <laughs> oh. Can I bring my own sandwich? Hey, Lane. That's the real question. I'm taking my 10! <laughs> that looks like it travels well. Whatever that means. Hey, oh, who are you? Hi. What are you doing here? Well, why are you living in my house? I'm here for three months and Mrs. Kim is my host. Exchange student, huh? Yes. Uh, who are you? I'm Mrs. Kim's daughter. She did tell you she had a daughter, right? Yes. Well, she does. And it's me. So you can try whatever tricks you want. I will always be her daughter. Right. You're living in my room. You're wearing my clothes. And don't tell me you always look like that. <laughs> oh, no. How would you like it oh, my no. room? Oh, no. Why don't you just go back home? I'm Mrs. Kim and Chun and Mrs. You don't have to feel sorry for Mrs. Kim. Mrs. Kim is fine. And give me back my sweater and my second least favorite scarf. Second least favorite. Be prepared to discuss Kafka's The Trial. Catheters? Yes, if, uh, if all goes well, it'll get very ugly. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Professor Fleming, I was actually a little surprised Four by the grade. Lemming. Were you? Well, you deserved it. If the grade I got wasn't legitimately earned, then I have no interest in it. Oh, how very noble of you. I intend to earn all of my grades. I don't want any favors. Is this because he knows that she knows that he's dating Paris? Must have misunderstood this conversation. I'm just saying... He looks like an android. ...that I want to earn all of my grades. Yes, you've already said that. No matter how many wise, willful, and wonderful women I know. Right, yeah, right. I gave you an A because your argument was well-structured, your writing was clear and concise. And you drew a connection from Marsilius of Padua to Machiavelli to the modern age of media that PhD candidates would envy. Okay, android. You did what was demanded and you did it well. And I would seriously caution you not to question my grading tactics again. Ooh. Thanks for the A. And the redhead has fat thighs. Relax, why don't you? I, I would like to stop and smell the roses, if you don't mind. Mom, you're, you're young, you don't understand these things. I'm old, I'm dying, I'm gonna- Old and dying, are you joking me, Lorelai? Store. You're being a tad ridiculous, come on. On a scale of one to a million, how awful do you think tonight's gonna be? Well, how high a number did you think the walk up the driveway was? Oh. Here we go. Which tack my dad's gonna pick tonight? I bet he goes with the silent treatment. Or maybe Ooh. he won't. Or maybe dad will be fine and Emily will be on the attack. Yeah, a little good- No, I don't, I don't buy that. I'm telling you, if my dad gets ugly, I'm out of there. It's showtime. Lorelai, Rory, you're early. Yeah, no traffic. No? Anything else to say? Uh, come in. Hmm. What's bloody up in there then? Did you hit much traffic? Um, no, no traffic at all. Well, good. Ah, uh, <laughs> nothing like an hour stuck in traffic to ruin your complete day. Yeah, it ruins my life, yes. Well, you're early, so I'm not quite organized yet, but, uh, Where's that shall we have some drinks? Okay. All right. There's no ice. Do we need ice? Uh, Oh, of course we need ice. <laughs> yeah. There's some in the kitchen. What the hell's going on? He doesn't seem mad. All depends on which definition of mad you're going with. Oh, I'm Mom. Lorelai, Rory, you're early. Um, yeah, we didn't hit any traffic, so. Well, it, it's it's nice to see you. Where were you? Huh. When? Just now. Oh, oh, well, I had to run out to the store. <laughs> to get what? They were out. Emily, the girls are early. I see that. Is that ice? I think Emily has left Richard. That they've been putting up a front every Friday to give the mirage that they're still together. That's where my mind went to just now. Yes, we needed to make the drinks. Oh shoot! 
So, uh, Rory, how is school? It's fine. Um, I just got an A on a paper. I could be so off, but that's, that's what I think. Good. Uh, mm. so, cheers. Cheers. Mm. cheers. Suspicions all Sorry, around. Rory. It's only just seven now. Oh, I'm sorry. What time did you want dinner? You didn't tell me, so... You know what? It's all right. We'll just eat now. Now? Okay. But what do we do with the... Uh, just take your drinks to the table. Take our drinks to the... <laughs> what? Every time they ask you about school or traffic, just do a shot. Shh. What the hell is going on? What are they eating? A plate of nothing? Everyone's favourite food. Oh my god, I hate this. We're not having dessert. We're not. I'm on a diet. Americans are extremely fat. I think they prefer Rubenesque. You're not fat, Grandma. <laughs> well, thank you, Lorelai. She was close. Okay, what? Have we all got dementia? Okay, uh, we're leaving now. Have a good evening and get some sleep. All right. Good night. Right, now I'll speak. Oh my god, no, we're going to these two. Nicholson and Angelina Jolie just kicked us out with parting gifts. Dessert to go. Now, as much as the thought of an early end to Friday night dinner and, and dessert for the road appeals to me, that was just weird. That she was made a tin full of swan. What was up with the drinks? <laughs> the dinner? Why is my mother's car here? She was in a hurry? Uh, my mother never parks her car in the driveway because the car might drip oil and make a spot on the concrete and then life as we know it would end. There is Please that. Know. I'm just seeing what's in her car. Why? Because I don't know. I just feel like something's up. Something's definitely up. Oh. She's coming. Ooh, Mom, oh, hurry. What are you doing? Good shoes. Good she shoes. She definitely would have seen them, though. God, Emily couldn't even give it two minutes. She's taking clothes with her. She's leaving. She's left Richard's ass. I hope to. God, that's what she's done. Oh, my God. She's leaving. Where's she going? I don't know. She left her house with dry cleaning and she drove off. She's meeting friends. Tonight nope. after dinner, maybe. Staying at a hotel. Oh my god, this will be this will be revolutionary if this is what's actually happening. Maybe she hadn't like left him, but she's not staying in the house. Black hood, white shoes, black hat, Cadillac, yeah. <laughs> what a tune. The guy with the phone. Amazing. Yeah, give it up for Lane. Dude, what was with the shirt raise? Hey man, when I'm playing like that, there is no room for clothes. Well, we need a sign because I was staring right at you when you took it off. I felt like putting a buck in your pants. Yeah, I wouldn't turn it down. Ryan, honey. <laughs> it's fully serious. Hey, Mom. Ah, uh, your boy's mom Kids were dad. excellent. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Aunt Susan. Hey, Turner. Hey, Brian. <laughs> I got carrot sticks. You want a carrot yeah, stick, because Brian? Of... Yeah, thanks. A really carrot stick, wow. Costume. I gotta go find my wife. I gotta go find my wife. Stay out all night, hit the clubs, and talk about a Rolling Stones cover. I'm thinking a Garden of Eden theme. Hi, Zach. <laughs> Shannon. You remember. Shannon. You can read a napkin, sweetheart. Wow, yeah, great. Nice pants. Oh, you're a god. And we shall discuss this For further. For what? Like, I said the word Cadillac into a mic. <laughs> and Lane's abandoned room. How is Lane the one that has no one to talk to? <laughs> That's just sad. I'm not happy about that. Oh, she's gone in. Why the hell has her mum got an exchange student? He's actually staying in Lane's bed as well. What is happening? This is so everyone's so weird this episode. No, I can't do Lane upset. I can't do it. I'm not having that. I will kill Lane's mom. Kill her. <laughs> That's just sad. What have you done? The Grafton Hotel, room 421. Check out date and definite. Ooh, I'm sorry. Emily in room 420. I can't believe which is, my I know it was, but we'll say it was. Because I can just imagine that Emily sat, laying in a bath. Just smoking weed all night, having the best time of her life out, Richard dragging her down. I was convinced that these people should not be together, but you know what? I was wrong. Richard and Emily Gilmore were made for each other. Yeah. God, this is so... Richard is punching, so I will say that. Talk to me. You were going to tell me something. I'm suing your father. Oh, good. 
I have to, Lola. I have to respond. I cannot just sit here and do nothing. He definitely should sue him. Jason, please, don't do this. Maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe he'll settle. He won't settle. It's just business. Oh my god. Oh my I'm god, so you hearing people say that. Yeah, you're marrying Richard. I mean, they're not getting married, but you know. I have to. If I intend to continue working in my chosen profession, then yeah. I have to. I'm with, I'm with Jason. Put this on another level, please. I can't. Unbelievable. Or lie. I have what? No What's he got to do? I have to fight back. Jason. I will keep you out of this, I promise. Lorelai, what did you think he was going to do? Suing my family. Lorelai, come on. No, I'm you can. sorry. Have you seen Succession? But I can't be with someone who's suing my family. Lorelai. Wow, we got an ultimatum. I'd pick Lorelai straight up. <laughs> straight up. I'd be too weak willed. Lorelai Dignity. Lorelai Emily. See, this is the choices we have to ask ourselves. <laughs> no, but I, I, I get why Jason's doing that. I don't think she I get why she's upset and has like the the mindset of she can't be with someone who's suing a family. Like I get that, but what's he gonna do? Just lie there and take it from Richard and lose all of his credibility. The profession he's in, like in that town he doesn't want to move why should he have to move and he's just going to lie there and take it and they get a new job what no that was not an option so i respect jason doing that um i don't think laura should be that surprised by the fact that he's doing this but uh yeah pretty good episode nothing amazing go going on i think well i don't know there were me i think there were amazing individual scenes i think storyline wise like the Luke divorce things getting tiresome, um, the the Richard Emily potentially leaving Richard I think's great. I'd I'd be excited if that does happen. Uh, it seems like it might be maybe she's just kind of like stepping away for a little bit. But if she leaves him, oh my god, I'd be so happy with that. We'll see. Uh, Lane going in to see her mom. I'm not sure about this. Her mom having an exchange student that feels a bit odd i don't know about that but then so like that storyline i don't care for with mum having an exchange student then lane going into like kiss mum on the head at the end that was just sad <laughs> that was just sad so yeah i had a really good scene there um i didn't care for the rory professor her getting an a and that that like that professor day in paris has just been ass since it began so that's not going to change is it to be honest so yeah, some really good scenes, some not so good scenes overall. I still think it was a good episode, mainly because of Lorelai and Lane, and then I'd say Emily. Emily kind of hyping up Lorelai again, which she keeps doing at the moment. It's always never to Lorelai. I won't say never to Lorelai, but it's because she did do that when like uh, Richard's mom was going off on her as well. So she does do it in front of Lorelai, but the moments where she does hype up Lorelai, but it's just someone else, or mainly Richard, I think that's quite cool to see so yeah we'll go a seven out of ten for this episode i think it was overall a good episode um but i do think there are some storylines that i would need to wrap up now or have some sort of development because bringing in an exchange student to this lane storyline that's doing nothing for me i don't let's just see that just feels weird i don't know about that um yeah <laughs> i think it's their way of trying to be like look lane's mom misses her daughter so much that she's got an exchange student it's I guess. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know if you the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode 20. Three episodes left of the season. So until then, take care. Peace.